Middle Eastern governments crack down on LGBT community via dating apps. Human Rights Watch, or HRW for short, released a report detailing how governments and security agencies in the Middle East and North Africa, or MENA region, have been using social media and dating apps to target LGBT people, resulting in harassment, imprisonment, and public outing. One of the dozens of cases the report documented was that of Yazid, a 27-year-old gay man from Egypt. His ordeal started when uh, Yazid went out to meet one of the officers pretending to be a gay man on Grinder. He narrated how authorities arrested and tortured him until he was forced to sign papers confessing that he was quote-unquote practicing debauchery and then publicly outing himself. The report also highlighted the instances of public, excuse me, of private individuals and gangs extorting LGBT individuals. In Lebanon, for example, some people reported being extorted and told HRW how they were threatened with being outed to their families and the authorities if they failed to pay the extortionists a certain amount of money. The lack of effort by major tech companies to sufficiently invest in content moderation and protection in Arabic was also questioned by the report. HRW called on MENA governments to respect LGBT rights and for major tech companies to invest in their Arabic content moderation processes to help protect this particularly vulnerable population. So HRW just put out this extremely extensive report. Like I read the executive summary, which itself took me probably at least 30 minutes to read. And then the estimation of how long it would take to read the full report was six hours long. <laughs> so I wasn't able to read the whole report, but I did get some really um, good details. Get ChatGPT summer. Just get ChatGPT summer. It was too long. It was too oh. long. Okay. Um, Is there a link besides, to the report? I, yeah, okay. I mean, partially because of my research background and then also because I'm presenting this show, I really put a high value on going and reading the text myself. Um, anyways, so this is very, very enlightening. Now, we have known that this kind of thing happens in some countries or you hear a story now and there, but this report really revealed how this is a really endemic, not, is that the word I'm looking for? It's, 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 it's a problem across the entire region. And Basically, authorities are going out and they are entrapping LGBT people and then like nabbing them and sucking them into the system. And it is so bad that they will force people to give them their um, passcodes into their phones under duress or torture. And then they will go through all of their WhatsApp messages, all their Instagram, all their Facebook, da, da, da you know, sees everything, takes screenshots, then they'll start screenshotting um, the, all the information of your friends. So then they can then go after it and entrap your entire network. And then they will prosecute you, which will, and you'll probably experience custodial abuse while you're stuck in the system. And in some countries, if they don't have enough to go after you, what they will do is while they have possession of your phone, they will go download gay dating apps, set up profiles, set up pictures, set up fake messages, da da da. They will falsify evidence so then they can go after you. And Insane. a lot of people have to flee their countries when they go for this. They have to move, they have to change their names, they have to delete all their social medias. For the people that go through this in Iraq, they are faced with threats from armed militia groups that go after them or threatened that their personal information will be turned over to armed militia groups in Iraq. Um, and what was shocking was then in the cases where LGBT people are being extorted by private individuals, there are individuals or gangs that will go after LGBT people and say, and basically engage them and collect enough evidence to say that you're gay. And they will say either we are going to expose you to your family where they will threaten your life, or we will expose you to the authorities and they will prosecute you if you don't give us money. And in six cases that HRW documented, when the people who are being extorted went to the authorities and said, I am being extorted, 
I'm reporting this crime to you because extortion is a crime. The police arrested them instead. The police arrested Why? them, prosecuted Why? them, and criminalized them because they the were crime. engaged in debauchery or whatever it wants to be called. And in all of those six cases that HRW documented, there was not one case where the actual extortionists were prosecuted or pursued by the authorities in any way. That's insane. So it's either the authorities are going after you and entrapping you, or they are systematically allowing people to entrap and extort you. Which countries are we talking? I know you said North America, uh, North Africa, and the Middle East, but are there any specific countries that are worse? Yes, let me home? pull up. So this report talked about Egypt a lot because we know that it is rough to be LGBT in Egypt. It's one of the roughest. Yeah. Okay. So the main countries that they cover, but the the case of one of those cases, the most prominent case of extortion that I read about was in Lebanon. Interestingly enough. Okay, so the countries that this report, this is a very extensive report covered, was Egypt, Iraq, Jordan, Lebanon, and Tunisia. Hmm. And then when people are on these dating apps or on Facebook, whatever, and they're being threatened because of their identity or because of their self-expression or perceived gender orientation, whatever, whatever, and they report these threats to the social media company or the dating app, they are told that this doesn't violate their policies and the content Which, is not removed. What app other than Grindr, what app are we talking about? So people. Um, Facebook and Instagram were uh, the primary ones that I remember being mentioned. Hmm. Meta products, um, which is so yeah. ironic because we have such a ridiculously hard time dealing with meta as atheist republic yeah. we get dinged our page gets flagged for homophobia on posts where we are condemning homophobia but this is allowed just on the other side of the world it's fine it pisses me off so much well it's because it's in another language so they have less moderation on this yeah, so the, this report is like, you guys need to step up your moderation in a major way. Yeah. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.